Thank you. So my goal here is just to state the result and give um, an idea of, the, of why, why it's interesting. I, I, I won't tell you much, um, much new apart from the results themselves, not, not really the proofs. So I'll do this with chalk. As Carolina said, uh, the talk is about non-rational complete intersections. So uh, take, so what is a complete intersection? It's, it's a sub-scheme, or rather a sub-variety of projective space defined by R equations and having co-dimension R equal to the number of equations. So if you have uh, a complete intersection, uh, one such, so you write di for the uh, degree of the homogeneous equation corresponding to i, and then, well, you know that the canonical bundle of x is given by um, this. It's, a, it's O of the sum of the di minus n minus one. So this is the, canonical bundle, the uh, determinant of the cotangent bundle of x. Now, the number of global sections of this is a birational invariant, it's the, bi it's the geometric genus. So if this sum is bigger than this negative number, there are such global sections. And uh, so if you have such global sections, the complete intersection is not rational because as I said, the number of, of the global sections is a birational invariant. So if the sum of the di is at least n plus one, x is not rational. So given this uh, easy thing, easy, easy fact, you can ask, okay, uh, what about when the sum is uh, at, at most n, less than or equal to n? Are you rational? So the simplest case is for uh, hypersurfaces. So let's see what positive results there are. So a positive, one example of a positive, positive result is when uh, x is a quadric that is a hypersurface of degree two. Then you can take a point in the quadric I mean, we're, I'm, I'm thinking of a field which uh, something algebraically close, or at least assuming that the quadric has a point. As soon as it has a point, you can project from the point, and uh, th this will give you a, a birational um, equivalence with, with a projective space of the same dimension. So quadrics are irrational. Next, uh, you could ask cubics. Hypersurfaces defined by equations of degree three. Then cubics, then not all cubics are rational. Are, I, mean, I mean, cubic curves are not, ra are elliptic, so not rational. And, um, but it turns out as soon as you're a cubic surface, you will contain a line. Um, so, so if L is a line inside the cubic surface, you can restrict the tangent bundle to, this, to the hypersurface to L. And um, so the projectivization of this, of this, uh, of this bundle will um, consist of uh, points uh, P in, the li in this line. So this is a line. And T, a tangent direction. And uh, this will give, I can use this to construct a unirational parameterization of the cubic by sending um, the line intersect with x uh, minus p. You see, because, because t is a tangent line, it intersects uh, the point, uh, the, the point of, of the curve, of the, sorry. Because t is a tangent, it intersects this point p on the line with multiplicity two, so it will intersect the cubic at a third point, and you can just map the line and uh, the point in the line to that third point. 
So this gives, uh, this gives a unirational parameterization. So cubics are unirational. As soon as they have a line, and they will have at least 27 lines, <laughs> so we're fine. Uh, some of them are even, if you have a pair of skew lines pointing in directions like these, and you're in dimension at least uh, four, then you will be rational. And then that's, uh, but apart from that, if you look at degree four more, um, you don't know. There are no known examples of hypersurfaces of degree four, at least four, which are rational. So, so there is a big gap here between those you can prove are not rational, uh, I mean, classically, without much, um, without any mod modern geometry. What you could classically prove uh, is, ra is not rational from, from uh, degree n onwards, and the ones you can show are rational, you can only do that for degrees, uh, obviously, one, two, and three, but not more. So that's the problem. So, so what I, so, so I want to tell you how to show, um, so let me tell you, I want to tell you about non-rationality results for uh, complete intersections, and in particular hypersurfaces. So that's the problem. So I will skip history. There were some, so things were in this uh, uncomfortable state up until the 70s, and then there were three methods that were used, um, introduced, that allowed people to prove non-rationality non results. These were very uh, impressive, and they have been, continued to be developed to this day. But the one I will focus here, because it's related to what I did, uh, is, it came in 1995, so not very long ago, and is due to Kolar. And he showed that when the field is that of the complex numbers and you have one equation, and if the degree of the hypersurface is uh, at least twice of this thing, so it's roughly three, two thirds of n, and if the hypersurface is very general, then uh, it is not ruled. So, so not rational. Uh, recall, that um, rational uh, implies ruled. Oops, I got 10 more minutes. <laughs> uh, so, so, so ruled means, so let me, just to be clear, everybody on the same page, x ruled uh, means that x is birational to y cross p1, where, where the dimension of y is one less than the dimension of x. I guess that's, uh, that's automatic from birational. So, so very, yeah, very general means that this statement is true. So this is a statement about hypersurfaces. They're per of, uh, yes, there is a parameter space, a projective space, and away from a countable union of closed subsets, proper closed subsets, this is true. Um, now, th this is interesting. So Totaro proved something similar. So Totaro, uh, in 2015, proved that X is not stably rational under the same hypothesis. Actually, Totaro used, had a one here, so it had a, a slightly better result, and stably rational means um, that X cross PR is rational for some R. So it's another weak version of rational. So this is what Totaro did. 
And you could, you could ask, okay, so, so, so is it true for all smooth hypersurfaces? We know it's true for the very general one. The fact is, we, it is not known if it holds for the general one. So, so we certainly don't have any counterexamples. A counterexample would be, uh, at least for the statement with, with rational here, a counterexample would be to find a high degree hypersurface, which is, which is rational, but we have no counterexamples apart, we have no such examples from degree four onwards. So there are no counterexamples, but you could maybe try to argue by uh, continuity. But this wouldn't work either, at least for stably rational, there, um, so Hassett, uh, Chinkel, and Pirutka in 2016 gave an example of a family where the very general, the general, the very general member is not stably rational, but there, but there are countably many ones which are rational and they are dense on the Euclidean topology. So, so things jump from rational to non-rational very, very uh, chaotically. Okay, so at least between uh, rational, yes, rational and non, non-rational very chaotically. So let me tell you what I did. My, what I, I, I basically tried to take, to take what Collard did for hypersurfaces and bring the same result to complete intersections. So let me write down the statement. B is my last name. Well, I, I remember the statement. So uh, K is a field of complex numbers and you have a complete intersection such that the sum of the multi-degrees is at least uh, three-fourths of n plus two r plus one. So Kolar had roughly two-thirds. I have three-fourths. It's, so since he, mine is not as good as his, but it hopefully will be at some point. <laughs> uh, this is uh, in progress. This is tr already true, but I hope to make it better before uh, I put out the paper. <coughs> So I showed that if the complete intersection satisfies this, uh, the degree satisfy this condition and the complete intersection is very general, then, um, then X is not ruled. So I do not uh, generalize Totaro's result, even though the method of proof of Totaro is very similar to Kohler maybe in the future, but not yet. Uh, how much longer? I could stop here, but I could, st I could talk much more. Okay. So let, let me give you an idea of the method. So the method it hinges on, on a result of Matsuzaka and the lemma. Matsu Zaka's theorem from 1968. It says this, if you have a morphism of schemes F from S, X to S, which is uh, flat, proper, and has uh, geometrically integral fibers. It's a family of integral varieties, proper integral varieties. Then, no just under these assumptions, then there exists a countable family of subvarieties of the base, closed subvarieties, SI, inside S. They could be equal. Uh, so let me write closed just to, for emphasis. Um, I, uh, the indices are natural, so it's a countable subvarieties, such that such that uh, the fiber, the geometric fiber over a point, is uh, ruled if and only if uh, the point belongs to the union of this, to the countable union of these SIs. So it's from this result that the very general assumption uh, comes from. So 
so let me. Um, I'm sorry. Oh, here it is. So let me make this clear. So the remark is this: uh, it suffices to exhibit one x, one complete intersection, which is not rational. No, sorry, not ruled. I apologize. Right? Because if one is not ruled, this means that, so if it is, uh, n if it's not ruled, it means that the point is not in any of those uh, S's. It's not in the union of those S's, so it's, so this means that each of the S's have to be a pro proper inside S. They cannot be all of S. So they're proper subvarieties. So, uh, so if, if one is not ruled, then S i is different from S for all i. Both uh, this, this, this remark applies for, I'm being a, a little bit um, um, not very precise, but X means either this complete, this complete intersection of that or that hypersurface. So the point is to, uh, I can close in words now. Um, the point is to show, exhibit one complete intersection that's not rational, and to do that, I study a degeneration of complete intersections to something else, and show that, that something else is not rational, and apply this result again, um, and that will give me, that will allow me to show that the general member of my, uh, of my family is, is not rational. So, so basically, this is the, the key, uh, the key lemma, Perhaps the hardest, the technically hardest part of these results is this, or, re or, or maybe the hardest part is to be Kohler and have the idea to degenerate uh, using this result in the first place. But once you do that, there are a few technical difficulties that that's all I do in my paper, and the result in the end hel uh, helps to alleviate the uncomfortable situation of not knowing when hyper complete intersections are. Uh, rational. So that's what I had to say. Thank you.